Um, I'm sure it's a very unusual conference that uh, has three welcomes. <laughs> uh, this is the EDBS welcome, and uh, I'm Wendy Bowman. I'm the chair of EDBS this year, and we uh, have been coming to support for quite a long time, and we also welcome all of the participants here today. Those of you who are members of EDBS, you will know why you are here and what EDBS is, I hope, and if you don't, <laughs> no. But for those of you who for whom this is your first opportunity to uh, be here and uh, also we very much welcome the people from the International Environment Forum uh, for this joint conference, just to tell you a little bit about the EBDF and uh, why it exists. The EBDF started in 1990. It was a coming together of people who uh, have uh, what we call a, a legitimate interest in business, people who are interested in seeing the prosperity of humanity and believe that part of their own uh, activities as business people or consumers or people who uh, have some relationship to business in a serious way, have a responsibility to try to create business in ways that reflect values which the EBDF itself uh, promotes. We have seven core values and they're things that will be familiar to you but which when we started uh, were quite unusual. Things like using consultation as a way of decision making, uh, looking at a new paradigm of work, a certain element of work, uh, considering that women and men are equal and should be partners in all fields of human endeavor. Uh, what we now call a sustainability, sustainable development, but which at the time that we started EBDF we called stewardship of the Earth's resources. Uh, so we've also modernized in our, in our language as we've gone along. Uh, and EDBS itself has grown from strength, strength and now and I can't remember how many countries, uh, 68 countries around the world. Uh, it's a strong organization of uh, people of all ages uh, and from you know, all uh, backgrounds and all walks of life. Uh, some of them are you know, hardcore business people in the corporate world, some are entrepreneurs, some are people like myself who simply have an interest uh, as, a, as a human being, uh, in the ways in which business affects my life and so forth. So we have a wide range of people. Uh, and EDBF itself, uh, looking towards partnerships and networking with uh, a large range of organizations, was felt that the International Environment Forum uh, was a natural fit for us at this stage of our development uh, and sharing this conference together. So, uh, EBDL welcomes you very warmly. We're going to have a fantastic uh, time together here. We have some wonderful speakers, wonderful workshops and innovations for you who are EBDF members. You will have to do things you've never done before. <laughs> um, those of you who know EBDF know it's a dynamic conference. Uh, we say that because sometimes things change and uh, don't be surprised if things do. But uh, it's dynamic also because everybody brings their energy to it. So. Um, from EDBF, have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you over for the weekend. I now hand you to the International Bar Report. Thank you, Wendy. Good morning. I'm Victoria Thorsten. I'm on the board of the IES, and I would like to welcome you on behalf of the International Environment Forum to this conference. And we're very excited, too, to be able to share this conference with the EDBS. Uh, it's a very important kind of synergy we're trying to look for. I'm not sure if you remember the title of this conference, why you really came. <laughs> but this conference is going to focus on growth or sustainability and the whole question of defining, measuring, uh, and achieving prosperity. A rather ambitious title, but the question is not one that we're alone on asking. I don't know how many of you have been involved in other processes such as the EU UNDP process on beyond, uh, beyond EEP, which is a process which is trying to look at new ways of measuring prosperity and wealth. There are other processes that are looking at social responsibility. There are many people who are asking questions about what are we really trying to do with our businesses, with our lives in the world today. And uh, I found a quote which I think I'd like to share with you when we start this morning. And it, it's a quote from uh, the Baha'i International Community's document on world citizenship, a global ethic for sustainable development. 
I'm not sure if any of you remember this, which was 1993, but it says that the greatest challenge facing the world community is to release the enormous financial, technical, and human resources and moral resources necessary for sustainable development. But that they can only be free when a profound sense of responsibility for the fate of the planet and the well-being of the entire human family has been done. So we're here together to develop our profound sense of responsibility by looking and examining different aspects of these questions dealing with prosperity and the future of mankind. <coughs> so to begin the conference, we have devotions. Yeah. <laughs>